and welcome to today's Bittrex 24 webinar, Selmar with Sites. Thank you for joining today. So first of all, before we go into the webinar, I'll just introduce myself. So my name is Sam Connor. I am a sales engineer here at Bittrex 24 Gold Partners Interface. We're based in the UK, in the US and Hong Kong. And what we offer is a full range of services to help you with Bittrex 24. Starting off with pre-sale support, so we can discuss your requirements in detail, see if Bittrex 24 would be a good fit for your business. We can implement the software to your specific requirements and manage the setup for you. For a self-hosted edition, we offer our own hosting services and we can provide you with ongoing dedicated support and training. Okay, so if you're new to Bittrex24 and you've come to our webinar today to get some more details, first of all, what is Bittrex24? Well, it is a collaboration suite of well over now 35 different modules that you can use to manage your business essentially that's what bitrix 24 is for there are over 9 million customers now around the world that use bitrix and the system is available in two different editions you have the bitrix 24 cloud and you also have the bitrix 24 self-hosted system and prices start from $19 per month for a cloud system and just under $1,500 there for a self-hosted edition. Okay, so today's webinar is Selmar with Sites. So we're going to be looking at how we can build our very own sites using the Bittrex 24 Sites module. But I think it's really important, first of all, just to understand why you could or should build your sites within Bittrex 24. It's a really important feature, first of all, is you don't have to actually have purchased your own domain straight away. What you can do is you can set up a system with the Bittrex24 domain that you are given, and then you can actually apply your own domain to the actual landing pages and sites that you create. So that's really useful as you're building out your site. You might not want to make it publicly available to everyone yet. You can then add your own domain at a time that suits you. You don't need any design or coding skills, so we're going to look at the sites module. It's very simple drag and drop technology to manage and build your sites. It also integrates with lots of other areas of the system, such as the CRM, so we can manage the inquiries or leads that we generate in the software. And it's also responsive and mobile friendly, so we can see how this looks on different devices. And we can integrate with Google Analytics to manage your traffic analytics and you can set up your meta tags for search engine optimization. Okay, so first of all today, we're gonna to look at how we can set up our own site using the sites module. Okay, so first of all, when you want to go and create your brand new site, in the menu, you want to go to your sites module. So this is where you can then see and manage all of the different sites that you have created in Bittrex24. First of all, though, we're gonna build our very own brand new site. So we're not gonna go into any of these other ones right now, but if you did have other sites you've created, you can click on those to go into them. So first of all, we're gonna click the Create Site button. Okay, that then opens up a range of templates that you can use. So you could start off just with an empty template, start from scratch. But Bittrex has lots of different templates, such as for industry types, but it also has maybe different seasons as well. So you can see them in here for Christmas or Easter, for example, you'll have different sites at different times of the seasons. So you can select your templates. So if you're say in the accounting industry, you might want to use the accounting services templates. So you can see that Bittrex offers a, a wide range of pre-configured designs that you can choose from. So we've set up our template that we've chosen. We can then choose a theme, which will be the color for the different icons that we have on our site. So we're gonna click that and it's gonna generate the site in the system.
Okay, so now that we can see it has created our template. It's brought through all of the details from the template we selected. And we're going to see how we can customize this shortly. But the first thing you want to do, first of all, is you should configure the, the essential settings of your website. So in the top menu, what you want to do is click on settings. And then first of all, let's have a look at the site settings. So inside the site settings, first of all, you can see the domain that has been given for your site. And as we mentioned, you can actually change the domain. So you can add your own domain into here. But what we would recommend as you're currently building out your site is just keep the Bitrix domain. And once you're happy, once you have published the site, you can then move and use the domain of your choice that then can be applied into the system. Okay, and in the site settings as well, we can again choose the, the widgets. So we're going to look at the different types of CRM forms and live chat features we can set up. Again, you can customize the color that we've already selected. And then we can then add additional features into here. So we can, as we've seen, we've seen we've added the address. We can add the different widgets. We can then also connect with Google Analytics. So we can add our tracking ID into here so it's just a simple case of adding your ua code and then we can start tracking users who enter our site okay so we can set that up in the system and that's our site settings but what we can then also do is set up the individual page settings so for each page we create in bitrix we can set up our page preferences so because you can build multi-page websites what you can do then is apply different settings for each individual page that you create. And really, that this is essential for your website SEO configuration. So inside this page that we've created, we can then go in and start editing our meta tags. So the title tag, the description, any keywords that we want to add into here, all of that can be configured for each individual page that you create so that's a really useful feature within the site's module okay so we've configured the settings we've set up our meta tags what we can then do is start redesigning this template so if you've used a pre-configured template most likely you'll want to customize this so this site module here uses block technology so inside here, what I could do is I could add a new block. So maybe I want to add a brand new, let's say we're going to add a new image into this block. So first of all, I can choose the type of block. And then within there, I can choose the design that I want to use. So let's select that block. And that now gets added into our page. And I can move this around so I can move it up or down. So all the blocks, you can customize the structure and the layout. And then you can customize the design of those blocks as well. So for example, I might want to customize the images. So inside here, I could either upload my own images or you could use Unsplash, which is an image document library. So I could customize here. So let's choose, I'm going to choose a picture of a city. So I'm going to customize this here and add the image. And then I'm going to simply save that. And we can see that image is now updated in the system. So it's so simple to build out your blocks, customize the content. I can go into the design tool and this will now start changing the padding, the background colors. So if you've got text and information, I can configure the actual text inside here and all of the details. So if I go into edit this, you can fully customize all of the details that are populated in your blocks. So let's change this here. Okay, so I'm just gonna save that information. And we can see that's now populated into here. And let's change the background as well. So I can change the padding, see what that looks like on different devices. Okay, so that, there you can see how simple it is to configure your design using those existing blocks all you do is hover over the left hand side and you can then start editing each block so this is a simple landing page that we've created this is a single page 
but you can create multi-page sites. So let's just have a look at the difference between those. So first of all, we've created a landing page here using the sites module. We've embedded some different features. So for example, here we've created a web form that's been embedded into the page. We've also got open our contact features so I can start adding a message and speak to somebody inside our system. So it's really useful if you're setting up your different instances, you can manage those through the Bittrex system. So if I go onto one of our sites here, that message that we've just had from our site is fed into Bittrex 24. So I can reply to that directly in Bittrex. So once you've created those sites, you can use these as communication channels. So I can then speak with our customers directly from the page. So there's our live chat. We've got the web form. You can see it's a page here we've created. You can also create multi-page sites. So the real difference here is at the top, you can see we've got a menu. And I can click on our inquiry page and that takes us to our inquiry page on the system. So it's basically multiple page sites that we've also created in Bittrex. And we've also embedded some of our tools here, such as the website form and the live chat feature. So it's a really useful way to keep in contact with all of your potential clients. So we see a lot of customers using the sites module to build their own landing pages for marketing campaigns. So we can use the marketing module, send customers details and try to navigate them to a particular page, which could be, for example, this late cake landing page. They then input their details and that is then captured inside the CRM system. So we can start to see how the site pages can connect with lots of different areas of our Bittrex 24 system. Okay, so we can see the connection there and we can go back into our page that we've created. We mentioned how you can create widgets so you can add those different widgets into the system here. So if we go back onto our site settings, what you can do is you can customize here what widgets are available. So these are the different tools that we've mentioned about the website forms and the live chats. You can customize exactly what tools are available on your website. So inside the edit area here, I can select exactly what I want to display on my site from live chats to website forms to call back inquiry forms. You can customize what is displayed on your site. So like we had on our landing page, we had a web form and a live chat system. Okay, and once you've set up your site, we then have responsive testing. So Bittrex provides you with the ability to test your website on different applications. So we've got the desktop here. You can see how this looks on a tablet display and also on a mobile application as well. So that's really useful so we can visually see what this will look like for all of our different customers across different devices. And then once you're done, you can launch this. So that's once you've tested it, you're happy, you can launch this site. And it really at this point, that's where you should then add your own domain. Once you're happy the site's ready, you can then launch it to the public. And once your DNS is pointed and you can click publish, then you are good to go. Okay, so let's just see if we have any questions. Okay, so right now I am selling my products on Alibaba. Uh, so I'm not sure if there's a question there. I am not getting our main business from our website, but from that, from a third party site. So how to work on that? Uh, I think we just need some more detail exactly what you mean by that. So you, you're currently getting traffic from a third party. If you can have some more detail and context, then we can have a look to see how we can help you with that question. Okay, can I build an e-commerce site? So we're gonna be looking at that shortly. Yeah, so it, the answer to that is yes you can actually build your own online stores using the online store feature within Bittrex 24. And it uses the same tools such as that we've seen on the site designer tool. Okay, so can I keep my site hidden until it's ready to go live? 
you simply don't you just don't point the DNS record until you're happy for the site to be published and live to the online people who are using your sites. Okay, if there are any more questions, please add them into the question box and we'll run through those throughout the intervals in the webinar today. Okay, so moving on now from just looking at sites, let's now have a look at the online store feature within Bittrex 24. So within Bittrex, you have the ability to actually create your very own e-commerce platforms. So if we just come out of the sites area, you can see here, so we've looked in the sites area, we also have an online store. And it uses the same technology for you to build your sites. The key difference really here is what you can do is you can actually create your very own products that you can then sell to your public on the internet. So this is useful, I guess, essentially for small businesses who haven't yet got a platform to be able to sell their products. So you could create your very own online store inside the store section. So you can see here with both the cloud and the on-premise, it's exactly the same features. And I can click onto those stores and we can then see what that page would look like. So we can open up here and we can then select maybe different types of products that we could sell. So you can maybe have business cards, for example, it could be different products that you want to sell in the system. So if we go to our product catalogs, you can see all of the different products that you would be able to sell through your store. So you basically add all of your products into here and we can then add a price for each of those different products inside the system. So for each product you add, you add all of the different details. You can add a preview and a description, the details such as the meta tags and descriptions, and we can then add a value. So we can see the price here and that would then be applied to your online store for the products that you sell. So that really allows you to sell your products very simply once you add all of your different products into your product catalog. And once you've set up your products, what you should do is also set up your payment systems as well. So if we go into the settings section, we have our payment systems that you can set up. So we can see here, for example, Stripe, that would be set up. So if you wanted to inside here, you would select the new payment system and then add your new payment provider into here that customers can use to pay for those products. And once you've actually set up your products, set up your payment options, we can then start to receive orders directly inside the system. So if I go into our ordering section, we can see here, this is an integration. So from our online store to our ordering area of Bittrex24, we can see all of those different orders that have come through from our website. So we can click on those orders and we get the full breakdown of information about that particular order. And you can see here, we're progressing the order through different stages. And those stages are completely customizable. So just like if, you, if you're if you using the CRM system, the stages here that you progress that order through are completely customizable. So you could have as many or as few stages as you require on your ordering process, and you can then set up automation rules. So for example, as soon as the order comes in, we could send out a thank you email to the customer with all of their order information. So we can see that email inside the system here that could automatically be sent out to the customer at different stages of the ordering process. And it could also be, for example, internal activities for your team. So that's a really useful feature as you customize the ordering process in your Bittrex 24 system. Okay, let's just see if we've got any further questions.
Okay, can I create different live chat widgets that go on to my online stores? Yes, absolutely. So we're going to have a look in a second at the different widgets. So widgets from website forms, it could be live chats. So if people are looking at the products and services that you sell in your online store, people could communicate with you live through the communication platform that we looked at earlier on. So that's a really useful feature that you could use to really help close those sales opportunities. And let's just take a look at some of those widgets in more detail. So we've mentioned about integrations. Let's have a look at how we can create those integrations in the CRM. Okay, so if we go into the CRM system, and if we go into our more category, we have an area here called website widgets. And these are the widgets that we can then apply to our site. So as we looked at earlier on today, you can see on our landing page here, we have a website form, we have live chat set up. So it's great widgets that we can use to actually communicate with our potential customers. So we can create these in Bittrex and then integrate these onto our sites. So first of all, here is a website widget for our live chat system. So that live chat that we can set up, you can configure the settings for how this displays on your site. So first of all, we can choose the color of the site widget, choose the background color so you can customize what that looks like you can choose the position where that displays on your site so we have it in most people have it in the bottom right hand corner and you can choose if it's immediately on the screen or if it introduced after a delay on the websites we can also make it hidden on mobile for example so you can configure the settings And you can also decide who actually from your internal team in Bittrex is able to manage those conversations. So we saw how a chat came through to us. So inside here, for example, you could manage all of those requests. You can customize exactly who is able to manage those requests. So you could have a, maybe a support team who manage all the customer interactions. So we could set all of those people up and nobody else in the team would actually receive those live chat requests because we have already add, added our agents to the live chat queue. You can also build website forms. So forms are really a useful feature because they can integrate directly with the CRM system. So first of all, you add all of your different fields that you want to have on the form. And these come from the CRM. So you can simply select what fields you would like to display on here and customize the layout. So it's really simple drag and drop technology to build those forms. And you can then customize exactly where that information goes in Bittrex. So for example, we say here it's gonna create a lead, but it maybe you want it to create a deal and you can select what pipeline that deal goes into. So you're in complete control as to where that information when a website form gets submitted is rooted in Bittrex 24. And we can also create callback requests. So if somebody adds their details, that can send a message and a task to the responsible person to call that customer back. And it will populate with their details for what number to use to call back. So you can completely customize here exactly how those widgets are displayed. And those can then automatically be added to all of the sites you create in Bittrex. But if you already have an existing site, you can still add all of the information of these widgets. So for the forms, for the live chat, you get your own widget code. So you can embed that onto your existing site, say if you use WordPress, for example. And those integrations are really useful because as we've said, we could then automatically generate leads from those inquiries. So if somebody submits a web form, for example, that could then automatically generate a brand new lead in our CRM system. And through the CRM system, what we can then do is we can progress those leads through different stages. And these stages in the lead database here 
are completely customizable. So you could have as many or as few stages as you require. You can change the name, you can change the colors. So it's completely customizable to what your lead process would be. And we can then also set up automation rules. So as you progress that lead through those different stages, you can set up automation to have that lead automatically maybe communicated with, or maybe you want to set up your own internal activities, such as maybe a task for the responsible person. So from that landing page where we submit a form, we can then automate the whole communication flow and internal activity for our team. So it's all of this connection from building your sites in Bittrex. Okay, let's just see if there are any other questions to go through. Okay, so how do we set up submenus? You don't set up submenus using the sites module. All you're, you do is you set up multiple pages inside the system. So if we just go back into our sites area, Okay, so inside here, what you would do was in that page and setting that you have, you would create a new page inside here. So it's a multiple page site within one. It's not a, a sub menu that you add into the system. Okay, I want to use Bittrex CRM to repeat orders for our customers. So I want to know how can I use this feature? So within Bittrex, you can set up the repeat deal feature. So if I go into our marketing area, first of all, you can do retargeting. So if you want to try and get generate new opportunities with your existing customers, you can also do repeat deals. So what this does is you can set up maybe certain types of opportunities that you want to create. And you can then choose a segment of people. So from here, we could maybe set up segments for our customer base, and that will create a brand new deal associated with that contact. But really the best way is if we go into the contact database, what you're able to see inside each of your customers' pages is all of the different deals and opportunities that you are working on with them. So if you're wanting to try and get repeat orders from your customers, it's really about making sure you're, you're doing everything correct on the existing sales that you are working on with that client. So inside the contact page, you can see all of the deals, what stage they're at. So you can really start working on all of those deals that are not completed yet. And that will help you to then get repeat business in the system. And you can also generate brand new deals associated with that contact. Okay, can I create a form with two columns? I'm afraid what with the Bittrex 24 forms, it's done in a, a separate individual column. So you can't create multiple columns. You create individual fields that are applied on the form, but it is in one overall column. You can create conditional fields. So a field may only display if certain information is selected from an existing field, for example. So you can set up configured fields on the form but it is all done in one column. Yeah, so what about using forms that are embedded into an existing site? So you could, if you already have a form set up, use a webhook to connect to that existing form. Or the other option is if we go into our form area, you could just redo that form in Bittrex 24. And once you have completed that form, then what you can do is you get the embedding code for that form in the system. So what you can then do is you could just simply apply that form onto your existing website and the form is then connected directly with Bittrex24. But if you don't want to recreate the form, you can use a, a webhook to feed that information into Bittrex. So if you need any more details about how you can use webhooks, 
please email sales at intraface.com and we can support you in setting up the web webhooks to connect with your existing web forms. Okay, so in summary today, we've looked at how we can create our own sites using the sites module in Bittrex 24. And in summary, we've seen how simple it is to set up those sites using blocks and drag and drop technology so you can get great looking designs. We've seen, and I think it's really important, how we've seen how it integrates with lots of different areas of Bittrex 24. So using the web forms, the live chats, we can then deal with customers' live uh, questions from our sites. We can integrate web forms directly into the CRM and use automation tools to progress those opportunities, which will then help improve conversion rates and customer loyalty. So all of those integrations will help you with your customer journeys. Okay, so here are our selection of up and coming webinars. So next week we have the Next Level CRM. We're here at 11 a.m. Eastern Time every Tuesday. So I hope you're able to join us next week for the next Bitrix24 webinar. If you have any questions before next week, please do email sales at intraface.com and we'll be happy to set up a meeting with you to discuss any questions that you have. Thank you for your time today and bye for now.